I've been thinking in one way for my entire life and I could have been thinking in another way. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Julia and I am a neuroscientist who is trying to change her brain. Yes, you heard me correctly. I am actually now on a bit of a mindset mission to try and change the way I think. Now, the reason that I actually want to change this is because I have big plans for the future, big goals for the future. And with the way I currently think, I can't see how I can make those things happen. And this really all hit me because I started to listen to some podcasts about building a business and creating your own brand. And within a lot of these podcasts, podcasts the people who were interviewed on the show spoke about doing work on their mindset and doing personal development work as well and for me I was like what is this what is this and you know some buzzwords were thrown around like law of attraction and affirmation and I just thought nah this is not for me like whenever I'm approached with these sort of things I've always just like battered them off and been like I just don't see how it can work if you think about something enough or like believe something's gonna happen that it will happen and maybe that's just because of me being a scientist I'm like evidence driven and a lot of these things seem to come from a place of oh I've tried it and it works which is you know a bit harder to believe than seeing the physical evidence of like tested experiments and and they've shown that it works. So the more I listened to these podcasts, the more I was like, what is all this going on? Like everyone, every person who has been successful, who is in a position where I would love to be in, speaks about how important this personal development work is. So I was like, right, I'll go and do some reading and see what happens. And I actually made like the biggest revelation in my life from reading the book Mindset by Dr. Carol Dweck. If you have not read this book, please do go and read it because Dr. Carol Dweck is a psychologist who realized that there are two mindsets that exist when it comes to how you perceive failure. And your mindset is really like your attitude towards things, your thoughts, and beliefs about situations and she's found that you can either have a fixed mindset or a growth mindset and if you have a fixed mindset you are very much in the position where you feel like your traits were given to you from birth you are naturally good at some things and not at other things you can be gifted and talented in one area of your life but in other things if you're not good at them there's just no point in trying because you're never going to be good because you weren't born good whereas the growth mindset actually feels Feels like the opposite and people with this mindset feel like all traits are skills that are to be nurtured and worked upon and if you put effort into doing something every day you will become good at that thing and I was reading this book and you know when you open it and you think oh I'm definitely going to be like a growth mindset person yeah like I put loads of effort into my work and all of this and it hit me that no I'm such a fixed mindset and I have been my entire life and I can just think of examples now like sports I've never thought I was good at sports never ever ever and so I've never tried I've never tried sports because I would always just say well I'm not good at that so I'm not going to try that is such a fixed mindset trait and also when it comes to like academics again a fixed mindset individual will find it very difficult to you deal with failure and if they're going to come up against failure they normally just won't try or won't even entertain that idea and that has been me because if ever I have failed at something or not done as well as I wanted to say in a test but I've pinned that on me as a person and I've said well I'm obviously not good at that rather than thinking what could I have done more to have improved upon that so yeah had this huge revelation that I'm in a fixed mindset and if any of you have watched my videos before you will know that I've spoke about me being a perfectionist and I've always used perfectionist as like a sort of positive label in the past and, and said well my perfectionism you know makes me neat and tidy it allows me to work meticulously at things but actually like what perfectionism is is a variation of a fixed mindset and again if you are a perfectionist like me what we are really afraid of is failure and we do not want to fail because then that might tell the world that we are not perfect I've been thinking in one way for you know my entire life and I could have been thinking in another way and there is a choice you're not born fixed mindset or growth mindset it's your experiences which allow these two mindsets to develop so that's been a bit crazy and I've now thought well maybe I should try doing some personal development work to see if I can really change the way I think and also this might help me with some of my goals for the future now I don't know if any of this is going to work I'm obviously quite skeptical for those of you who don't know me I am a neuro 
scientist. My background has been, I've been studying the brain for eight years now. I've almost finished my PhD. But if you think of the brain as a whole and zoom in and you can see the billions of cells in your brain and then you zoom in again to inside to those tiny, tiny cells, that is the level I have been working at. So I've been working at a process that happens in the neurons in the brain, which are also called nerve cells. I've been looking at a process in them. So like super, super minute detail about the brain. And now what I really want to do is explain the neuroscience behind some of these personal development techniques because it's worked for like so many people. I'm now going to do a bit of an experiment myself and see if I can change my mindset by forming these different habits and look at how that changes the brain, how that affects the brain, how that alters the brain, if that alters the brain, is there evidence out there for that already? That is what I want to look at. And one of the reasons behind this is I've listened to a lot of podcasts on this and it is amazing to listen to. But as a scientist, I'm like, I want to know the why. I want to really get into like what is happening in the brain to make that change or to make you go from a certain mindset to another. And I really want to bring that to everyone and use my knowledge of neuroscience to try and explain how some of these things might work. So yeah, that's where we are. And so far, I have started to introduce a few of these habits which includes starting a proper morning routine with some meditation in there, journaling, writing down my goal for the future and doing exercise. So all of this week I've been getting up at 5am which has actually not been bad because when I was doing my PhD in my second year I actually did this for about three months or so, three or four months. Just because the gyms in London get so busy I wanted to get to the gym for half six in the morning so I get up a quarter past five and actually now reflecting on it that was the most productive time of my entire PhD. I got so much work done. I was in a really good mood and a good frame of mind about all that work. And I was doing all of my science communication work on the side to like a really good standard. Like I was really into that as well. So I just think like the morning routine thing can definitely work. Now with meditation and journaling, I find these two things really difficult. I find it very hard to just sit with myself and clear my mind. My mind is very active. But like I said, I've only been doing them for like four days so I'm going to keep at it and see if it actually does change how I'm feeling about myself and my thoughts and my self-belief and then journaling is the same I find it quite hard to just be open with my thoughts I'm definitely like a bit blocked off there so maybe that will help me open up in that regard as well and I like some things to me that I need to work on we'll see and then with the writing down my goal and this is also called an affirmation what you have to do is think about where you want to be in like a year's time and then come up with a statement written in the present tense so as if that thing is already yours as if you're already doing that thing that you want and then write it down 10 to 15 times every single day and I think the purpose of this is to have more like self-belief in your goal and it will make you more likely to work towards the goal rather than block it off and say that's never going to happen so I will get into the science of all of these things I'm now researching all this myself because I'm super fascinated by it it's just like crazy the case that so many successful people will abide by some of these practices is that like a coincidence or is there a scientific reason behind that so if you are already interested in like personal development work mindset work then hopefully for you it will give you an explanation as to how the brain responds to these certain activities and can you actually change your brain by doing these things and if you are you know how I was only a few months ago like really like I don't see the point in, in doing this type of work then maybe me showing you my process and and my experience and maybe my success then that might make you think that you want to invest a bit more time in yourself as well like I said this is very early days for me but just listening to these podcasts and reading these books and doing some of these practices over the past month or so has really changed my productivity and really changed my attitude towards my future goals and I feel like they're now more possible I think as well having the morning set up just for you and doing things for yourself it gives you like a good routine as well so something I want to also like talk about in videos around you know all of this personal development work is routine organization planning doing all of these things to set yourself up for having a good day I know when I have a lot to do if I plan the day in real detail I just get things done much much better so what I'll also hopefully go into is all about organization planning how we can use our brains better to do these things and why 
our brain likes organized routine versus chaos and not really knowing what to do. So there's a lot that I really want to get into and really want to learn myself. And I really would love for you to join me whether that's just watching along or if you wanna try some of these daily practices yourself and just see if you feel a bit stuck in a rut, it might be worth trying because my thoughts on it are, I could try it and if it works, it could be like absolutely amazing for my life. And if it doesn't work, then I'll be exactly where I am now. So there's nothing lost in giving it a go. And when I say giving it a go, like a good go. A few months of trying this routine rather than just giving up after like a week because I don't feel any different, which I tend to do a lot of the time. Thank you so much for watching along today. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below the video or you can catch me on social media. My messages are open for you. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one.